I haven't really talked about Kitakami, no. I, I think I said I'll wait and see that there's a part of me that's like, oh my god, I will finally get to play it, because I never did. But on the other hand, it could be incredibly bad. It could be Azuma 20 kilometer torpedoes. Not Azuma. Um, there, yeah, the tier 10. I've forgotten the name now. Of course, Azuma's the tier 9. You know the one I mean. Yoshino, there we go. That could be uh, Yoshino, except with more torps. Right, so Vanguard. Vanguard is as disappointing at tier 8 as California is at tier 7. It's fast, but it's very squashy. Uh, or at least it feels very squashy, and even more of a problem, these 15-inch guns at this tier, just as with the Monarch, are incredibly frustrating to use. See you, SJR. Thanks for joining us. You love Vanguard. Well, you're you're the one that's propping up the server numbers then. <laughs> Clearly dirt. <laughs> when I looked at least on the EU server, it, it's excluding the newest tier 8 battleships, um, Odin and the two uh, Warhammer ones. This is by far the least played of the tier 8 premium battleships. And it's been out for a little while now, so yeah. Right, tier 10. Oh boy. Oh boy. But I guess even the ships that would be generally considered to be weak and or bad are still going to have their fans. It's just that big of a... <laughs> That big of a, a fan base for the game, I suppose. Little Mark, sing. Is it your birthday? Wait, won't I get struck for copyright if I sing Happy Birthday? Or did that? Wasn't there a thing where that turned out to be not actually copyrighted, and the whole thing was like they were claiming it was their copyright but the copyright was actually invalid or something I can't remember there was something like that <laughs> oh I can sing it I suppose I could have, have a go at singing Your business is wait how is it midnight for you are you in some kind of weird half time zone Right, tier tens is going to be ouchy. Your business is appreciated. Tier tens is definitely going to be ouchy. Hell, you know, like Hood, they could have given this a defensive at least, because modern AA systems, at least in theory. But sadly, sadly, no. Wait, EU is mid ice. Bye. You all ten minutes ahead of me somehow. I slipped into a time zone somehow that's 10 minutes behind everyone else. It's entirely possible. I mean, the Outer Hebrides is, is in a, a separate time zone that's somewhere between 10 minutes and 40 years behind the rest of the UK, so... Yeah, 2348. You're just getting ahead of yourself slightly. Right, that was actually a surprisingly good hit against that Grosse Curve first. Considering the angle. Naturally, I start slagging off the guns and then, you know, very first shot, the guns behave marvellously. It's like they know. It's like when you've got a thing that's broken and the repairman comes to fix it and suddenly it's behaving itself. Okay, that's more what I would expect. Two zero damage penetrations and a ricochet. <laughs> right, okay. Normal service has resumed. We're going to have to turn around here. We're definitely outnumbered.
definitely outnumbered. Gross and Kurfürst and Republic. Neither of which are things I particularly want to fight. But at the moment, they're more liable to be focused on that oh-so-annoying Smolensk. That, that troll gets Eki, wow. <laughs> well, you know, little Mark, if you become one of my uh, patrons on Patreon, then, then obviously, you know, I'll give you the mod privileges and all that. And you can send me nudes as well, sure, why not? Well, then you can time out Gizeki to your heart's content. <laughs> Oh, totally. Total sellout. 11... Why are these guns behaving? Stop behaving! It won't last. Stop undermining my point, RNG! <laughs> See you, Feynman. Hope you enjoyed yourself. The Monarch's guns are at least are as bad as mine. The Republic, on the other hand, is downright nasty. It could hurt an awful lot, potentially. At least this thing does have a bunch of hit points. One of the few positives it has about it. Champagne. I haven't. There's a bunch of ships where I just really haven't played them enough. Um, most of my playing with Champagne was before they um, made the various changes to it. Alvia. Right, they're all concentrating on the Grissacur first, I think, so that's giving me relatively free reign right now. Keep tabs on the Odin. See as a flez. Yeah, I, my, my problem with the Champagne is less the ship itself and more the concept, the idea behind the ship. And the idea that we need such a ship as that, or the Slava. But I think, on balance, I'm more okay with the Champagne because it can get down-tiered. The Slava's always going to be top-tier. I don't know if that makes enough difference ultimately to, you know, differentiate between the two, but in my mind at least it's a somewhat important difference. Right, have I actually managed some solid salvos in this game? But we're only at 60k damage, so it's nothing to crow about too much. Well, that curve first is unscathed. They're not unscathed. Survived. He's still alive is what I'm trying to say. Definitely not unscathed. Entirely the wrong word, brain. That, that's it. I just have to somehow trick RNG into... It did work with all those other ships that I've played this evening. But for some reason, the reverse psychology is just working with this one specific ship. Obviously. Enemy yeah, I don't know what that Odin was thinking. We really didn't get any damage out of them, though. But at least I can say I got the kill.
Oh, somebody is really not a fan of our Thunderer. Yeah, this is this is this list of ships I've been playing this evening. It's really just like, why are these ships Your here? And on sale, they're so bad. Oh my god, why would you? It's that kind of a list. Well, that was not enough lead. Although we've managed to find one person in the chat that apparently really likes Vanguard. Which I can't say I've honestly ever met someone that has said that before. But hey, you know, we don't king shame here. I myself probably like some slightly questionable ships. <laughs> really? That was that far over? Okay. Okay, RN Jesus. I don't think I'm even going to get the angles to get my back round on this guy reliably, am I? Man, how are they going so far over? Yeah, there really wasn't much of a reason why this... Like, would this have been better than Monarch? Maybe? Fires faster, has more hit points? Right, lightning's dead. It's just the gun that's a disappointment. It does at least uh, get a better heal. It really is the guns on this thing. It's those 15 inch guns. And it's not just this ship that these 15 inch guns are disappointing on and frustrating to use. Well, we started off with some strong salvos, but yeah, this is not looking like we're going to end with huge amounts of damage. How is the Thunderer still completely full health? Maybe that's why somebody was complaining about him. Well, there we go. He's now actually taken some damage. Right, let's see how we do versus the Republic, I guess. Who is showing a fair bit of broadside. We're not going to get a better shot than this. Right, he's just popped speed boost. Two pens, two torque belt hits. Okay. That could have been worse. Yeah, Hood can be a bit of an exercise in frustration. Although, as I say when I, I point out every time I play the Hood, um, I tend to hit a very specific range of damage con consistently. Oof! Hello, Shikaku. And um, basically never particularly do much more than that or much less than that. is a situation where a defensive actually would come in quite useful, but never mind. Could have made that drop far away. I don't think we're really going to get much of a chance to fight that. Uh... Our team has taken the lead. 
really happens. One, one hit leak. You, look how long he's been buzzing around in my AA. And yet, eight plane kills, nine plane kills. Yay, 11k, there we go. That was finally a somewhat decent salvo. 103,000 damage, so we're topping up our damage now with this carrier a bit. When the shells will actually hit something. Which they occasionally deign to do. <laughs> what was that? What was that? Really? Man, these guns feel so wonky. The hood's the exact same. Hey, Citadel! Ugh. So, that's Vanguard. Not all frustrating to play. This might actually be my best Vanguard game, to be honest. 125k damage. But they were also busy pummeling that grosser cur first. They didn't pummel me, and it was really the carry that started trimming significant damage off me, so... Yeah. Ugh, Vanguard. Not even once. <laughs> 